safe to say that I'm not going to be at work tomorrow. First tonight's storms bring severe flooding to parts of Maine. One place in particular, Franklin County. Roads close their stranding drivers leaving behind a mess. Hey there, everybody. Thanks for being with us tonight. The images and videos out of western Maine towns like Jay are stunning, and despite the damage left behind so far, there are no reports of injuries. Meteorologist Jason Nappy is standing by with a look at the conditions out there right now. But first, let's turn things over to New Center Maine's Alex Haskell, who is in Jay, where flooding has been causing issues all night. Alex, how, how bad has it been there? Hi, Zach. Well, we are on Old Jay Hill Road here in Jay, one of the places hardest hit by this storm. Where I'm standing right now, this is someone's driveway that was washed out. Crews have been busy working on repairing this road. It's a common scene across town tonight as many roads have had part of them washed out by all this water. Some have even been closed due to this damage. Now, Jay Fire and Rescue officials say they've never seen flooding quite this bad in some places, and they're warning the community to not drive through any water and stay home if they can. Tonight, the flooding left dozens of people stranded. The town telling people they may be stuck where they are until the roads become passable again and the water recedes, which we've already started to see in some places. And it's not just in Jay. We've had as many as 25 roads across Franklin County were closed at some point during the storm. Emergency services tell us they've been completely overwhelmed, getting at least five to six calls at once. The Franklin County Emergency Management Director says flooding from the spring only made things worse tonight. We've had just a significant amount of rainfall the last two months that we haven't had a period where the water's really been able to recede enough to even fix the damages that were we encountered a couple months ago. So some of these roads just continually keep getting hit in the same areas. And also asked that if there's you know a road's closed, don't move cones to pass it. We've we've already had reports of that tonight. Um, and just if you do need to call nine one one for any kind of services, just understand that we're I've got four dispatchers on doing the best that they can with a lot of phone calls and they're dealing with a lot of a lot of things on their end too. So just be patient and understand that we're doing the best we can. Now it's worth go mentioning Governor Janet Mills has already requested a federal disaster declaration for damage caused by previous storms in the spring, including right here in Franklin County. Now they're left with even more cleanup. Live in J, Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine. Alex, thank you. Now let's check in with meteorologist Jason Nappy. And Jason, the reports of just how much rain some places got in such a small amount of time is staggering. Yeah, five, six inches and nearly two dozen reports here around the Jay area. Kind of eerily similar to about last year's time where we had that big hailstorm with the golf ball size hail right in Jay and Livermore Falls. Remember that? Well, now fast forward about a year. Look at all of these reports here. Local storm reports, nearly two dozen lot of rain. Now I'm going to give you a look at radar right now. This is live radar. The rain has shut off except pretty much up in the county and the north woods. The rain is going to end tonight. Showers are going to fade. You're still doing though with runoff from this. Here's a estimate by radar six inches around J. That's a lot of rain came down in only a couple hours or so. Live radar now it is no longer raining. I also want to before I get to the next segment here tell you that starting to see that wildfire smoke make its way into southern Maine and the Midcoast. I'll be taking a look at that. There's a special article on NewCenterMaine.com breaking down the smoke. I'll talk about your holiday weekend forecast and all of that rain that fell here today. Zach. All right, Jason, thanks so much.